making another Harry Potter mini-verse potion. So let's see what's inside this one. Okay, let's see what potion is inside. This looks like a new one just based on this label. I like that some of them come with labels. Not all of them have though. Ooh, infusion of wormwood. That one's really pretty. We have a purple one. Gonna add some mica, whatever those things are. Pour it, set it, label it and tie it. Not looking forward to that. It crisscrosses and does all sorts of fancy things. So yeah, let's go ahead and open the rest of the packages. We have the cauldron, comes wrapped in this really cute paper. Harry Potter paper. And then we have this, which is a prop of sorts. I think you're supposed to put the cauldron on it. And some of these look a little bit different. This one's brushed in silver. I did get one that was brushed in a gold color. And then it has this little thing under it as well. Pretty cute. Then we have the wood grain table, which I love. I also love that it nestles in here perfectly and it holds the legs. Such a cute touch. And then the container makes a potion bottle. Probably what this is maybe. No, that's the bottle itself. Oh, okay, it actually comes with a stand and a beaker and a cork. Tongs and one of these spoons. This one is way different than the other ones I've had. Ooh, the purple mica. She's gorgeous. And are those little skull? Oh, I can't remember what those are called. They look like little faces on like cherry stems or something. I remember that from the movie. It's hard to focus. We'll get a better view whenever we take them out. And then this is that topper I was talking about. And the funnel, we have a disposable funnel. And this goes in here like this, and it's super cute, and you could display your potions in there, so I love that. This is always such a chore to get that lid off. It's terrible. Um, and I did gently pry open these bottles so that I can reseal them. And I don't think I'm gonna put much mica. I'm gonna use a spoon I used for the last one because I don't want it to be so purple you can't see the little skull things. So let's mix this first to see if we like the color. And it does look like it's supposed to be a lighter purple. Now that is pretty light. It's not really much purple. So I think I'll do just a touch more. Maybe like that. You normally don't need too much mica. It's pretty powerful stuff. And it's really kind of hard to say until... Maybe it's not going to get much more purple than that. Until it's in the bottle, it's hard to tell. But you don't want to add too much because then there's no going back from that. Gonna add. I think that's all I'll add. Let's see what color that changes it at all. Of course, the cauldron's all black, so you can't tell. Yeah, I think it's just supposed to stay that shade. I'm not sure it's gonna get darker, which is fine. I think it's fine. I'm going to dump some of these guys in there. Now some of them are attached. Kind of look like cherries with faces. 
pretty creepy I like it I like it a lot so we'll mix some of those guys in there but then I also might put some in as I pour um, and hopefully I'll have some I keep some extras I like to display the little um, extra things that come in the bottles so let's pour and I normally do like a little at a time because sometimes it takes a while to go through the funnel. And I think that's a good purple. I feel like you'll definitely be able to see these little guys. And then you could also take the toothpick and move them around. Some of the objects you put in here are so light, they do stay suspended and they don't sink to the bottom. I don't think there's too much left in there. But I want to stop it and make sure I like where the skull thingies are. Oh, I like the one that's connected is like right in the middle just hovering I think that's beautiful looks good let's drop another one in there did he go in no he's stuck let's see if I can add a little bit more there's really not much in there I think that's about where it's supposed to be filled to. Because you want to leave room for the cork too. I'm going to pull that out. Set that in there. I'm going to drop another guy. We do have another cool connected one. of oh, two connected ones. Maybe I'll keep those. There's a couple at the bottom. I'm going to hurry up and move this one over here. That one there. Then place one right on top. And then I'm going to hurry up and cure it. I'll be back to show you what it looks like. There is an air bubble that formed up here, but that's okay. It's a potion and there's supposed to be bubbles in it. I do like how you can see that face though. And it just depends how the light's hitting it. There's like a pile of them at the bottom, which is hilarious. But that one stayed suspended, which is what I was hoping. So I like it. Let's put the label on it first before we do the complicated um, tying of the rope that I am not looking forward to. Oh no. This one has a funky design so I'm trying not to rip it. If you don't have one of these tweezers you can probably use a toothpick to help pull it up. Just go slow so you don't rip it. And also kind of try not to touch it too much. Okay, so as far as where I'm going to put it, I think I was going to put it there. Do I want it here? Yeah, that way if you turn it around you can see the face. So I think I'm going to maybe about there. I think like that, that looks good. So press it down really well. Then we're going to put the cork in it. It says you can actually write on the labels. I don't ever do that though. And how am I going to do that crisscross thing? I'm concerned about that. I'm just not good at tying stuff. This one is more like twine, so it might be easier. And I guess, honestly, I don't need to crisscross it if I don't want to. It's not like they're making me <laughs> do that. Um, yeah, so it's tied off to the side. 
Hmm. Let's leave some extra in the back. Try to hold it with that hand. Then cross. How in the heck are you supposed to do that, keeping it straight? Absolutely not. It's rounded, so that's very hard. They should have made it. Um, yeah, no. How are you supposed to do that? Let me see if there's instructions on the white sheet of paper. So here's what it looks like. Absolutely not did we do the crisscross applesauce thing. That was not working. I tried multiple times. It kept slipping. If you did it, you're a pro because that was awful and no, we're not doing that. <laughs> so I just put on the side, I did cut it, um, it sticks out a little bit. I did add just a tiny bit of resin that way it doesn't come untied. Um, and then it just sets on here. And I will show you something cool I did with the leftover resin. I had just a tiny bit from this one, a tiny bit of the blue super mica resin and I have the mushroom candle mold and I made a mushroom. It's so cute. I've been making a lot of these. I'm like a mushroom maker now. <laughs> so very shimmery. And then I added some purple. You could see some of the blue a little bit on the stem. So you can get really creative. I just think these are so fun, the little baby mushrooms. So I made one of those. But yeah, I would give this one Mm, probably like an 8 out of 10. I like the stand. I like the little skull things floating in there. I don't like the crisscross thing. I don't know how that would have worked, but overall pretty cute. And I'm definitely going to get more of these. Hopefully find some of the rares, see what those look like. Yeah. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And Bye guys. Of mushrooms? Mushroom. Well, they can't see it here. Speaking of mushroom, there's the That's mushroom. That's another custom one we made from the last video. Mm -hmm. It's got like a and green. one another. <laughs> she wants to show her whole mushroom collection now. That's fine. The people Can might want to see it. Here, pour them in my hand. I'll show you my custom So they were ones. supposed to be, but we made custom ones. That one has a chunk out of it. But I think they're fun. And you don't need to put the wick. You could just pour them directly in there. And yeah. there's like a little thing at the top you could barely see though. Here's the other. That mine. was a custom one. She I wanted dark pink it's more like a red i picked it with a light pink yep. um, we have more somewhere we yep. have like a whole handful of them but yeah thanks so much for watching if we make more mushrooms there you go drop it if we make more mushrooms with leftover resin from the potions and other sets we'll be sure to show them to you bye guys